Inspired by stories of actual couples, the new film Switched Before Birth follows two strangers whose lives become intertwined forever following their IF, IVF procedures. Take a look. Donor. Won't be my baby. No, not biologically. But there's more to being a father than biology. Is there? Because it seems like a big part of it. <laughs> yeah, but we said we do whatever it takes, right? Whatever it takes to have a baby. Is this what you want? Yes. I really want a baby. And I know this is not the way we thought it would happen, but... Can you just keep an open mind for me, please? Just for me? Oh, and director Elizabeth Roman, star Justina Machado, join me now. Ladies, it is a, it's so good to see it's you. It's so good to see it's you. Good to see you. I, I know, and in person. And in person. <laughs> Listen, this is a reunion for you guys. It's actually a reunion for all three of us. I know, I know. Because the last time you were here, we were talking about your Lifetime movie that you did together, mm -hmm. Family Pictures. We were acting together. Uh, you were acting together. So, uh, you know, Elizabeth, what was it like working with Justina in this way now? It was just a, a privilege. She was already attached to the film, and I was lucky enough to be asked to direct Directed and and get to direct one of my best friends <laughs> who's just a force and a phenomenon and just killed it. I mean that scene was amazing. Yeah, we're so good. excited for the film to come out. We are. We're so and it was so. I mean, I, I like this came on the project really first, but as soon as they told me that she was yeah. the one, I was even more ecstatic to yes. be a part of this. There's a lot of trust between yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say. So since you're friends first, does it make it easier to be directed by a friend? It, you, I don't know other circumstances, but I think in this situation it did because both Elizabeth and I are very honest and yeah. we're, we, we're very clear with our communication. And, you know, she's from New York, I'm from Chicago. We don't take it so we personally. Didn't <laughs> right, right. We, were, yeah. we didn't mince words. <laughs> well, and Elizabeth, this is the second Lifetime movie that you've directed. So what was it about this story that you just had to be a part of it? Mm. Well, I struggled with fertility, so I did IVF to have my oh, daughter exactly. Easton, yeah. and I am sort of shocked that IVF is still such a taboo topic. I know. I'm so mm -hmm. excited that Lifetime has gotten behind making a film that's not just a movie, but a movement to really get the conversation going, to reflect on the infertility business. and. You know, these human errors do happen. Like you said, it's inspired by several couples yeah. that have been through something like this. So, you know, we just want to keep the conversation going. There should be no shame attached to being to struggling not. with fertility. And, you know, and that's a big part mm -hmm. of what this film is about. Also, her character um, had gone through a miscarriage. You know, there's, yeah. I feel there's for any, any, any person who's wanted to have a family who's struggled with having children yeah. is going to really gravitate towards this film. Yeah, so Justin, obviously, you play one of the moms involved yeah. in this. So tell us a little bit about her and kind of, and what she has to go through. Well, she's this great character. Anna is this woman that has her life together. She has an incredible husband. They have this thriving business, this thriving life, and the one thing that they can't, that they don't have is a child. Right. So she's able to control so much, and she can't control this. Yeah. And uh, they just, they, they're having issues having a baby, and it's a big deal for him. It's a big deal for her. And then all hell breaks loose. Yeah, yes, it does. <laughs> and, and back to friendship, you know, these two women become friends through their IVF struggle. Yes. And so and it, it becomes particular. It complicated. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, like we said before, it's like a horror movie for expectant moms. <laughs> right. I mean, I was, oh I was watching God. this last night, and I'm like, oh, my God, I can't even imagine. It's the, it's the worst switching story you've ever had. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. Um, you know, did, did you draw from any personal experiences in this, or did you learn anything in this process? Well, I learned a lot, by the yeah. way. First of all, I learned that she had her child through IVF when yeah. we were doing and we've been great friends for a while, so I learned that. Uh, but no, I I don't have any I don't have any children. But what I do know is I know loss. I know love. Yeah. I know like when you can't control something. I know when you want something so bad and it doesn't go the way. So the, I apply That's that to, to that. From, yeah. And I also know a lot of women that have miscarriages, unfortunately, and are, like you said, it's a taboo yeah. still right. to talk about There's it. There's a lot of shame about you know IVF and struggling with infertility. But you know, like Justina said, it's a story of forgiveness. It's a story yeah. of friendship. Yeah. Yeah. There's a love story at the center center of it, and it's a happy end. Ending, so yeah and, and what do you hope people take from this just that there, that it shouldn't be the dialogue for this should be changed and, and open and honest and well I think, no I think anybody involved. struggling with infertility you know they should be proactive they should get out there and really yeah. try to have the future family that they want to have I think by keeping things a secret you know we sort of live in we you know we 
it needs to come out of the closet a little yeah, bit you more start as to a think topic. What's yeah. Wrong. yeah, my first uh, pregnancy was a miscarriage as well, and you oh. start. There's a yeah. lot that goes through your mind, but this could be a very long discussion, and I hate that we have to go. But you have to come back oh, at the yes. next yes. Lifetime movie that you do, and you can catch the premiere of Switch Before Birth on Lifetime this Saturday, October 23rd. So good to see you both. Thank, Thank you. you. So, so good to see you. Yay. <laughs>